Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at graphing lines in slope intercept form. We're going to look at doing this two ways. The first way we're going to look at doing it is just with the slope and the y intercept, and then we will look at graphing it with a table. So let's start with the slope and the y intercept. The first thing you need to know is how to graph a positive and a negative slope. So if the slope is positive, we want a line that is going like this up. And there's two ways that you can get a line that is going up. You can have two points that are going up and to the right. You can also go down and to the left. If the slope of the line is negative, that means that we want it going down. And there's two directions you can go to get a negative slope. You can go up and to the left or you can go down and to the right. So sometimes it's hard to remember what directions to go. Just come back up here and look and see what direction to go. And also just double check yourself. If it's a positive line, it needs to be going up. If it's a negative line, it needs to be going down. Okay, so here's how we're gonna graph a line. You actually start with the y-intercept. We have to plot one point, our y-intercept on the y-axis. Then you need at least one other point that we will plot with the slope by using these patterns up here. So you'll either go up and to the right, down and to the left if it's positive, or up and to the left and down and to the right if it's negative. Then once you have two points, you can connect them with a line and you need to make sure that you extend it and draw arrows at the end. So let's plot a few lines using the slope and y-intercept first and then we will come back and look at how to graph it with a table. So on the first one here, our slope is the number in front of x, so it's 1 half, and our y-intercept is negative 3. So we're going to start plotting with the y-intercept at negative 3. So there's one point. Now I need another point. This is a positive slope, so from the y-intercept, that means I can go up 1, right 2, or down 1, left 2. I'm going to go up 1, right 2 to get my next point. So I just go up 1 space, right 1, 2 spaces, and there's my new point. And if you want to keep that pattern up and plot a couple of more points, you can do that. But you really just need two points. Okay, now that I have several points, I'm able to draw my line through them. extend it, and then I'm going to put my arrows at the end. You want to be careful when we're drawing our lines. This isn't a sketch. You need to make sure it's going through the points and draw your arrows on the line to show that it goes on forever. Okay, next one. Our slope is negative 2, and our y-intercept is positive 4. So let's start by plotting our y-intercept at positive 4. So I have one point, I need at least one other point plotted to be able to draw my line. This is a negative slope, so let's look at what we do for a negative slope. We can go up and to the left, or we can go down and to the right. Since my y-intercept is kind of high up there, I'm going to go down and to the right. Okay, remember this is a whole number, so it's over that invisible 1. This is the same thing as negative 2 over 1. So now I have the two numbers, I will go down 2 and then write 1. So down 1, 2, write 1, and if you want to double check, yes, that's going to make a negative line, I must be doing this correctly. And then you can plot a few other points using the same pattern. Down 2, write 1. Okay, now that I have several points, I'm going to draw my line. And there is y equals negative 2x plus 4 graphed. Okay, next one, y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 6. So our slope is negative 3 fourths, and our y-intercept is negative 6. So I'm going to plot my y-intercept at negative 6. Okay, now my slope is negative 3 fourths. So let's look at the directions we can go for a negative line. I can go up and to the left, or I can go down and to the right. Since my y-intercept was negative 6 and I started at the bottom of my graph, I'm going to go up and to the left on this one. 
So my slope was negative three fourths. That means I will go up three and left four. Up one, two, three, left one, two, three, four. And yes, that will make a negative line. And I don't think another point is going to fit on the graph, which is okay. We just need two points to be able to draw our line. So let's go ahead and draw our line through it and put our arrows at the end. Okay, last one that we're gonna do with the slope and the y-intercept. The equation is y equals four x, so that means our slope is four, and there is nothing there for the y-intercept, and the number for nothing is zero. So that means our y-intercept is zero. So I'm gonna plot a point there. And then remember, this is really four over one, and it's positive. So I can go up into the right or down into the left. I'm just gonna go up into the right. So this will be up four, right one. So up one, two, three, four, right one. And then we could also go down four, left one. And there's our line. Okay, so that is plotting with the slope and the y-intercept. Another thing you can do is make a table. So in y equals mx plus b, we can take our equation and we could input an x value here and use it to solve for the y value. And then remember, x and y make an ordered pair that we can plot. So you can continue that process to get more points on your line. And then you're gonna plot your points and connect them with a line and draw an arrow at the end. So basically we are just finding our ordered pairs with the equation and then we will plot them and connect them. Okay, so let's try that on this one. My equation is y equals x plus one. And we just get to choose some points to use for x. Um, I want to kind of do the middle of this graph, so I'm just gonna go from negative two to two. Okay, now I'm going to input these into x plus one. I'm going to replace x with the number from here, and then it'll tell me the y value. So instead of x, I'm gonna put negative two, and negative two plus one is negative one. So this ordered pair here would be negative two, negative one. Okay, let's try again. Negative one plus one is zero. So that ordered pair is negative one, zero. This time we're gonna input zero and zero plus one is one. We're gonna input one and one plus one is two. And then let's input two and two plus one is three. Okay, so we just found several points by inputting an x value and finding the matching y value. So I'm gonna write out the points over here. So it'd be negative two, negative one, negative one, zero, zero, one, one, two, and two, three. So I just wrote out the matching x and y values together. That's all I did. Now I'm going to plot these points. So the first one is negative two, negative one, the next one is negative one, zero, and then we have zero, one, one, two, and two, three. So there are several points from the line. I'm gonna draw my line through them and put my arrows at the end. And you can see that we have a y-intercept of one, like the equation told us, and a slope of one over one, which is that invisible one. So there's another way to plot it with the table. Let's try it one more time with this one right here. Y equals negative three X plus five. So we just need to choose some random numbers for X. I'm just gonna go from negative two to two again. Okay, and I'm plugging into negative three X plus five. So I'm replacing X with whatever it is in the x column. So negative three times negative two plus five. 
negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Positive 6 plus 5 is 11. Okay, next one, negative 3 times negative 1 this time plus 5. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3 plus 5 is 8. Okay, this time I'm going to input 0. Negative 3 times 0 plus 5 is 5. This time I'm going to do 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Okay, and then the last one, I'm going to replace x with 2. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. Okay, now I have several ordered pairs. This first one, negative 2, 11, would not fit on the graph, so I'm not going to plot that one. This next one actually won't fit either. If you wanted to kind of sketch where it would be, you could go left 1, up 8, it'd be about right there. Okay, this one will fit on the line, though. 0, 5, that means I go left or right 0 and up to 5. Okay, then I have 1, 2. So I'm going to go right 1 and up 2. And then the last one is over 2, down 1. So there's our line. We can see it has a slope of negative 3 and a y-intercept of 5, like the equation originally told us. So there are two ways to graph the lines. You can either use the slope and the y-intercept or make a table whatever you prefer.